morning. I'm Dr. Trish Hutchison. Thank you for allowing me to speak with you today. Um, I am a board-certified pediatrician practicing in Charleston, and my practice revolves around adolescent development and teen sexuality. I also have a company called Girlology and Guyology, where we try to navigate parents and young people through their emerging sexuality in a healthy way. It's quite challenging. Um, but I am in strong support of this bill. And what I've realized in the 20 years of my clinical practice that sexual health education is critical to helping young people lead healthy lives and make informed decisions that will significantly impact their futures. I have a big talk here, but I really want to go to Representative Brown's question, if you don't mind, about when do you incorporate this conversations into the school. It needs to be started very early. It shouldn't be a separate curriculum. It should be incorporated. K through second grade need to know proper names of their body parts, right? They need to understand privacy, what parts are private, what aren't private. Sexuality conversations are not just pubertal development in the act of sex. It includes affection, intimacy, respect for your body, respect for others. It includes uh, bad things that we don't like to talk about, harassment and abuse. So the curriculum needs to be age appropriate. It needs to start very early, K through two, what we talked about. Three through fifth, pubertal development, right? That's pretty easy to talk about how our bodies change. And then you get into middle school. And we've already talked about 20%, almost 20% of our middle school kids are sexually active. But we've got to get the message across to them. Age-appropriate, medically accurate information is needed and must be incorporated into our curriculum before our tweens and teens become sexually active. And then there's high school. That's all about damage control. We know a lot of tweens and a lot of teens have already made the decision to become sexually active. Um, and this information needs to be taught early in the ninth and 10th grade because as we know in the state of South Carolina, there's a big jump in sexual activity in our ninth and 10th graders compared to other um, uh, areas of the nation. So another aspect that I want to make, uh, mention is it has to be medically accurate. It should not be information based on teachers' personal opinions, really. Personal <laughs> <laughs> reality or other non-specific perspectives. Thank you for your Thank you, Dr. Rush.